Can you discuss some of the testing and studies that the Cordyart has gone through and what some of the results that you yeah. found? So there have been uh, quite a series of studies uh, that were initially sponsored by the National Institute of Health in America. So it's American science <laughs> uh, that we licensed in from the NIH. Um, and in the initial uh, studies were uh, done uh, ex vivo uh, in bovine uh, artery cells uh, where they want to see uh, at the cellular level what would happen uh, if you would expose these cells to uh, these arterial cells to uh, cordiar and that was where we saw this increase in uh, nitric oxide oxide synthase activity the activity of the enzyme that was enhanced and yet and then also the uh, production of NO was uh, increased so that was all observed um, then there was a uh, clinical trial uh, performed in uh, a uh, group of uh, 24, um, uh, I would say, slightly overweighted subjects. And they took uh, for three weeks uh, Cordiar, then they took for three weeks a placebo. That was a crossover trial. Uh, and that led to, an, uh, to a 20% increase of what they called flow-mediated dilation which is a measurement of the, uh, how, how quickly the artery opens up after you completely bind it off. So you have to imagine that you, that you get a, a, literally a band around your arm, it is tightened, so the blood flow is completely uh, stopped, and then it's released, and what you measure is wh whether and how fast these arteries open up again. So it's a real measurement of the elasticity, the responsi responsiveness of your arteries that you're measuring. And that was increased by 20%, so that's quite quite an, uh, a steep increase. And it is also, was also a clinically relevant increase. So it meant that it was, uh, it, it, the, the people had, an, had sort of impaired endo, uh, an, an impaired endothelium and their arteries were not very responsive. They were not very elastic. And that improved by 20% to a level that it was considered uh, without risk for cardiovascular problems. Since Cordiart deals with uh, cardiovascular health, endothelial function, are there people that maybe should think twice about taking it or consult a physician since it's a, you know, it's a, it's a very delicate uh, system? Right. Um, as many of these uh, natural products, the, the effects are gentle. So we're not talking about knockout effects. Uh, so these effects are really restoring the natural function of the body to produce nitric oxide, which is really an, uh, a system that is uh, regulated by the body. If there is not enough nitric oxide, it will be increased. But the, there is always a counterbalancing effect. If there's too much nitric oxide, it will simply not be used. About any concerns with taking other supplements or prescription medication, any, any that counteract? Um, we have so far not uh, not seen any uh, any any uh, of or seen or heard about any side effects or, or, or medications that, that should not be taken uh, in combination. But if there would already be cardiovascular medication, then I think it would be a good idea to consult your physician.